Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> right, y'all, yeah, calm down. Calm, calm down. down, everybody. <laughs> I want Netflix to actually release this. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh it's god. A take. <laughs> you know, I'm getting I'm getting oh, we haven't started recording, have we? We have yeah, we have. Oh shit. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> Thank y'all for showing up to the Trash Kings comedy stage. <laughs> uh, man, God. Oh, periods. Uh, uh, you know, uh, I think plants have periods, too. I think ragweed is just code for a plant that's on its period. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. No, I'm, I'm, I'm not kidding. But um, yeah, while we're on the topic of women. <laughs> if first base is eating ass, then tell me what sliding into home is. <laughs> it's like a my, my ex. <laughs> well, no, we're on the topic of women. My ex, was, yeah. she, was, she was really, her fetish was cucking. She was into cucking me. She liked to make me watch. Anyways, I wasn't into it. I moved on. Apparently, she hasn't. I got an invite to her wedding. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, anybody out there, uh, you ever been molested? (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Anyway, if you have, uh, that sucks. Uh, one time I got it. I got, I got, I got molested in the library at school by my teacher, but nobody could hear my screams. <laughs> you, was it because you're in space or no, it was in, the in the library? library. It was in the library. Yeah. Was, <laughs> you kept your screams quiet, huh? <clears throat> Uh, this, uh, oh man, you know what? I suck at vacuuming. You know why I suck at vacuuming? <laughs> oh. no. I thought that was you stepped on your punchline. Oh man, <laughs> no, no, calm down. But it was. I was vacuuming the other day, and I was like, "Man, I'm bad at vacuuming." You know why? Because I'm a man. <laughs> whoa, whoa! That's not the joke. I was just trying to make a point that men suck at everything. <clears throat> <laughs> uh, I don't know. I must be doing relationships all wrong. The other day, my friend said his girlfriend was driving him to drink. I said, "That's weird." She makes my girl makes me drive. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, okay, okay. Enough, enough women bashing. I'm not really trying to bash women. They're they're just jokes. They're just jokes. Uh, <clears throat> you no, know, but this one's for real. This is a true story. I heard I was eating dinner dinner the other day with a very very waspy rich woman and uh well or his lunch and while we're at the restaurant another gentleman at the table was talking about his family who were from a town called welfare texas and this lady's so removed from reality that she without lifting her eyes up i heard her mumble under her breath welfare how unfortunate that's a true story it's not even a joke but (laughs) But left, left. Let's hear it for him, though, guys. <laughs> that's just a true story. If you got molested, that sucks. Bye. That's his closer. <laughs> All right, bye. Yeah, people, people say I'm not a finisher. Like, like, like I like to please the ladies, you know. But they say I'm not a finisher. If that's true, then how come I finish every time in under a minute? <laughs> <laughs> With Adam's mom. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. Oh, oh, just kidding. Oh, no. no, that was just okay. That's all I got. Wow, <laughs> that was great. <laughs> man. That's all I got. Good night, everybody. <laughs> yeah, we are really, we are really doing a morning radio show now. What do you have for me this time? Ah! Hacking into the stock market, closing close down the banks, against banks, fixing an election. It's all, it's all easy. I don't. 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 I
everybody, and welcome back to the Trash Movie Kings podcast. I am your host, Adam Edwards, and before we get started, guys, this week, really devastating news. Uh, it's been headlines all over the place. I'm sure you're well aware, but uh, yeah. Harry Styles spit on Chris Pine oh. at the Venice <laughs> Film Festival. I, like, I don't know if you've seen this, but mm-hmm. yes, as we speak... Queen. Yeah. It's just, it's it's wild, you know? I, I don't think anything's going to top it this week. Well, no, wait, yeah. did he spit on me or throw a goat at him? A goat? Right. Hmm? Yeah. Am I the only one who's seen the goat video? No, I've, I've seen the goat video. And I've seen the one where they made Harry Styles into the uh, the spitting dino from Jurassic Park and spits <laughs> on Chris yeah. Pine. He spits like shit all over his mouth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Under the original breath, just... version of that video is is very weird. It's very odd. I I think that Chris Pine is just tripping on mushrooms, <laughs> and nothing actually happened, and he's just been confused for the last week of all of the the promo stuff. He's the one person that's been to every press meeting, and he's just like, yeah. what the fuck high is as going fuck. On? He's like, he does not give yeah. a shit. He's just riding it through because. The drama is not on him, and he's like, "This is tight." Yeah, yeah. it's like I have to be here. So cool. nobody knew I was in this movie beforehand. So I'm right. just gonna get high. <laughs> yeah. The thing is, I, I'm learning that Nick Kroll is in this movie. I had no right. idea right. until Which all this. Which is in a serious great role. Yeah. I didn't know I anyone was in this movie other than Shia LaBeouf, who got canned, who turned out Florence to not have Pugh. gotten canned. Yeah. The trailer looks awesome, but everybody's like, "Oh, this is a shit show." <laughs> Nobody wants I to saw watch this movie. Somebody, somebody said that Harry Styles' acting was akin to Tommy Wiseau. Mm. He's in a but other Florence stuff, Pugh's though. acting was very he was in Dunkirk, wonderful, right? Well, no, but he's in like stuff coming up, like where he he plays something. He's there's this other movie that he just came out as like the star in. So I don't know. He was in Eternals, also Looking horrible. Mm-hmm. If anybody yeah, watches this up at the end of that, interesting. Mm-hmm. I can't claim to know if he's a good actor or not. I just read tweets yeah yeah i've never tweet seen reader. any of his work honestly but anyway to a so, harry styles concert he's a good musician you have yeah oh. when was that uh Lindsay had tickets <laughs> before covid because she's a big harry styles fan and it got canceled like three times and we finally went like six months ago maybe oh okay well, it was the one that he had in houston not too long ago Oh yeah, but and then it like it got canceled show. again because of rain or a f- snow yeah. or something. And then they like rescheduled like a week later or something. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Okay. Mm. Anyway, joining me this week, Justin Petty, JP. How was the concert? Uh, it was great. Like we were uh, we were close enough to where he made eye contact with me, and I fucking melted. Yeah. My wow. whole body got wet, and I just, I just dripped. Wow. Okay. Did and he then he just you? kept, he, he just kept going. Like I meant nothing to him. Yeah. Well, he just yeah. kept going, and then he looked at the, the other girls. Mm-hmm. And I was just <laughs> well, a moment for him. The other, I mean, you girls. still have your wife, so it's That's... not the same, man. Until <laughs> until Harry Styles has looked into your soul, you'll never know what it feels like. I mean, to have Harry Styles look into your soul. I guess Olivia Wilde knows. Yeah, true. He's looked into other places. (sighs) Also joining us this week, Joseph Graham. Joey, how are you? You seem sleepy. I'm fine. I just, I, yeah. Fine. Uh, yeah, fine enough. Uh, God, I, I really liked this movie, but I dislike. Talking about Harry Styles. <laughs> <laughs> so let's no, it's better than it college up. football. Let's let's speed it up here. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is going to be a fun edit. It's uh, a slow burn, guys. Here we go. Every time you guys think it's a rough start, I feel like it's a solid start. <laughs> this is some gold. Okay, right now here, I yeah. definitely know you're drunk. <laughs> I'm not drunk. I've had four beers. That's drunk. For <laughs> Same cozy. You also I'm weigh like 90 drunk. pounds. So, yeah. that's... Adam, I weigh more than you. That's not true anymore. <laughs> anymore. I've gained weight this week. I'm a big boy now. You haven't. Are you? Yeah. You've always been very svelte. No. I'm, I'm, I'm about 190 now. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. You working on big those traps? Tra- 
You think? No, it's all it's all gut. Uh, the okay. night traps I'm getting, getting to be just like my, my <laughs> working on those night traps. Trap Look, I in. haven't introduced our last guest yet. Host, whatever. Who? Who is Ooh. it? Who is it? Uh, guest host. <laughs> Who, who else do we all? have? Look, I'm the one that got the B12 shot today. I thought I was going to be fucking froggy, but you're just coming uh, in on a different fucking wavelength. Apparently uh, playing softball gets my endorphins pumping on Trash Kings nights. Well, I'm glad you I found something I guess I need to exercise before instead yeah. of taking naps. Don't roll your fucking eyes at me, Joey. <laughs> Welcome to the Justin Petty Show. Yeah. I am your host, Adam <laughs> Edwards. Joining me this week, Joseph Graham, Justin Petty, the man of the hour. Apocalypse Howell joined us a little bit before the show. Unfortunately, he's not on the actual show, but we have some content that might be coming yeah. out in the next few days that uh, he'll be on. Uh, but also on the show this week, we've got J.D. Karpicki. Welcome back. It's been a, been a little while. How, how are you? Man, it's been a long two weeks, I guess three. Uh, geez. Well, I, I would do want to say I saw Ryan Styles. Um, like the Harry Canadian? Styles, but I saw Ryan Styles in in a theater. I think it was like a singular wireless or something downtown once. Of, oh, of um, Drew Carey show fame and it, whose line yeah. is it anyway? I think yeah, it was him, him on TV and once. Colin Mockery or something doing a one. <laughs> I've seen him on show. TV more than once. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I think. Uh, Wait, did you actually like get to talk to him? No, I think if Justin's story wasn't as long, that joke would have been better. But uh, I was trying to play <laughs> off the Harry Styles and <laughs> say, Nothing's I saw Ryan right Styles. now. It's fine. But yeah, it's fine. <laughs> um, happy to be we, back. Hey, man. I can set you up again real quick. So I went to the oh, Harry Styles go. show. Oh my God. And <laughs> I just melted when he looked into my eyes. Wow. What, did, now, what did you do this weekend, JG? Uh, I saw Ryan Styles at a Metro. Holy stop. shit. Yeah. What are the odds? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so podcast I think that's the game people you talking you, you know yeah. <laughs> we'll come up with a story in post um, we'll just figure the narrative out in within the context of everything you said speaking of figuring the narrative out within the context of everything that was said tonight thank you joey tonight we out watched, of the park with that segue we watched uh night trap which is technically 1992 but also technically 2017 Mm. so night trap for those of you who don't know was originally released in 1992 as an fmv video game for the sega cd fmv is full motion video so it's like an interactive movie basically and these people go around and do things and the player you know selects options to progress the plot and I guess in 2017 for the 25th anniversary, somebody took all the cutscenes, cut them together into a somewhat reasonable plot. And, Movie uh, question mark? Yeah, released it. It's about 50 minutes long, maybe less. Uh, it's kind of similar vibes to uh, Triple Fisher. As far as like a movie that's not really a movie and is kind of cobbled together out of other things. Uh, but it is... I don't know, like, it's really hard to put a genre on it. It's it's a house full of traps, and there's vampires and spooky teens and things like that. I mean, you uh, could just say, like, it's like a it's a choose-your-own-adventure kind of video game. Yeah, but it, the, as a movie, it's, it's like, like a movie. It's like a techno-vampire oh, horror yeah. thriller right. sitcom? Yeah, yeah, it's like a very <laughs> situational. It's not quite, like, clear there's a lot we're following. That's... It's kind of a slasher. Yeah. I mean, you've got teenagers and they're in a house, and there's. There's Granted, there's like kind of two enemies. Right. That's what I don't get. There's like two enemies. The enemies are pitted against each other, even though they're both different kinds of vampires. Right. There's like three, well, four factions at play here, really, because you have the teenagers. You have the vampire family, you have the augers, and then you have scat, which is <laughs> <laughs> that scat name. stands for scat uh, stands for the <laughs> Sega Control Attack Team. Yeah. Oh, it's wait—is that Sega? really what it was? I Sega it was yeah. Security. Yes. Sega. It was the Sega Control Attack Team because you, uh, as okay. Control, you the I player, it was super cummy ass team. Wow. 
I think. Cut that. Cut that. Yeah. <laughs> Can we just, just bleep it? I think that'd be fun. It. <laughs> uh, yeah. I like how they announce it at the end, though, in the third act. They're like, we're scat. And yeah. then they <laughs> it was, tell us. So. It it was all really the people run in with scat on their <laughs> yeah. backs. Oh, they got scat all over the place. <laughs> yeah. It's bad. You mean scat <laughs> is written on their back, the, the letters, correct? Uh, you yeah. Know. Well, maybe, maybe not. I, I, I was thinking, like, did they know did the did the term scat <laughs> exist in the early nineties? I don't know. Hang on, I'm gonna Probably. I'm gonna Google the. Uh, oh, here we go. Yeah, the let it be on the It definitely did in terms of like like jazz, you know, like scat. Yeah. Mm, well, yeah. Singing or but, origin of scat. Like is, scat scatological. I don't. Know yeah, I don't about. know what scatological. If the, is that does that mean poop or does that mean random randomized yeah. sound? Is that a scientific word or okay. just mean random generally? This I is going know. into my Google search history. Origin of scat poop. Oh, I thought you were going to say into your ass. <laughs> <laughs> no, the scat comes out of my ass. You can, it's really hard mm-hmm. to put poop back in your ass. Smears all the way out. Uncertain origin, uncertain. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got hung up on scat as people do, probably when they yeah. watched this movie. I, I actually, when I was, I, when I discovered this movie, I saw that they were called scat. So I, I, I was saddened that I didn't get the same kind of reaction that you guys did later because they bring it up so late. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but I might even in my notes I was calling them scat, and I was like, maybe they mentioned it, and I missed it. But then when they bring it up, like, yeah, in the last. 15 minutes or less. Mm-hmm. Ooh, less. Yeah, probably less. Yeah, it's such less. a cue. They cut right to that guy. Please, that won't be necessary. Who are you? We're SCAT. Special control attack team. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> SCAT. Special <laughs> control <laughs> attack team. We get shit done. Yeah. <laughs> 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 take it nice and easy, folks. Very funny. And I, I just wonder if that was a joke for them <clears> or if it was like... Just completely accidental. Regardless, it plays pretty fun. Yeah. Now it's it's a fun time. Um, I'll admit it's going to be hard for me to separate the movie from the the, the idea of this game. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Does anybody want to take a stab at some form of a plot? I mean, I don't. But I do want to say. It it could have been really cool had we tried to play the game as a group. <laughs> yeah, and we, um, we could I don't, do I don't that for a future I don't know if there's Is there a way for us to record like a, a gaming screen? Well, yeah, uh, people stream games all the time. Yeah, it's never happened <laughs> in the history that's, of man. That's a popular thing to do. In, Follow in, us on <laughs> Patreon. <laughs> yeah, I could is totally... Is there a way to it? stream video games for the internet? Yeah, I'll, I could totally get a, something set up if we want to do that for some bonus content or something i don't know mm-hmm. check us out on patreon trash kings after dark watch trash us play kings in the game always after dark after dark scat, trap. scat kings after dark scat kings yeah this scat minute has been brought to you by southern star mead mm. it's a scat man <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I, did, yeah. I did so find it's... out something about scat okay. oh god here we go we're opening up the book <laughs> on scat again Scat stems from chorophilia, which yeah. is the, the fondness of excrement. No yes. shit. Also called scatophilia. No it's shit. a it no, is it's of yes, Greek shit. origin. Yes. Paraphilia Actually. involving sexual arousal and pleasure from feces. Mm-hmm. American musician Chuck Berry recorded videos of himself urinating on and engaging in scatophilia with women. While playing, while also Johnny playing some scat. Oh, there's <laughs> like <laughs> audio. Scatting. There's audio. Shit, shitting hey, while, Chuck, while scatting. Hey, Chuck, it's your cousin Marvin. <laughs> you know that <laughs> fetish you've been looking for? <laughs> In one video, a woman defecates on him after he says, Now it's time for my breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, who is this? <laughs> Chuck, Chuck Berry. Berry. Chuck Berry. <laughs> Chuck Berry was in shit. He Stop was also it. sued for videotaping dozens of women in the restroom of a restaurant he owned, oh my which God. had been identified as being motivated by his scat fetish. Wow. So, so uh, like, okay, no let's real... talk about the plot of the movie. <laughs> 
yeah, yeah. okay is this the second podcast we're doing like scat stories trash movie S- kings scat it's a little movie. shorter than the other episodes it just comes out just we'll just yeah. send all the clips of the scat talk to justin and you can start a new <laughs> yeah. podcast yeah. <laughs> yeah i think justin's gonna edit this episode I think oh he, man he's... i gotta go to canada this week i'm sorry guys yeah, I forgot they don't have internet up there. Um, so <laughs> or computers. They're real behind. So weird. <laughs> healthcare though. Computers have gotten real weird. <laughs> That's what you give up for healthcare. Yeah, yeah no, got all the healthcare, but no, no internet. computers. <laughs> no computers. No iPhones. Good thing I'm a yeah. computer. Thank God, no Starbucks up there. <laughs> you got all the Tim Hortons you can drink though. Yeah. Uh, Molson Light. It's good. So this movie kind of starts off with a group of, it's scat. It's like this kind of military <laughs> group. Security team. And they're, they're doing like a briefing about this mission and they're, they're surveilling this house that there's suspicious stuff going on. And they pull down a, like a projector screen to show the face of a woman saying that this is like our undercover person and we need to make sure that she's protected at all costs. She's in, she's embedded in this group, yada, yada, yada. And meanwhile, the head of scat, I don't remember the character's name. He, uh, he's looking into camera and talking to the audience who is actually the player saying like, you have to help us out. And, um, yeah, we're going to be at the controls of a house that's been pre-filled with traps. Yes. Which, I don't know how they pulled that off or why there, yeah, there's a very is happening. Weird... It's very confusing. Well, did you notice at the beginning, the guy pressing the buttons, the POV of like, and the... <laughs> yeah. So that's like the guy... Wait, the is husband? that supposed to be us? Yeah, I thought I it was think kind that's of... supposed to be us. Yeah, are we supposed Perhaps. to be Doctor so, Hand? That's so weird. Yeah, yeah, we're on the. We're the. We're the. We're. Yeah, the. Uh, I don't. Why would we have evil gadget? monster laughs? I don't know. Uh, oh, okay. I, I mean, I think you know by the end of the movie. Like, but yeah. the, but the vampires and the and the scat cops both know that there are traps in the house. Yeah, who set up the traps? Which side? Who watches the Watchmen? Yeah, tra- trappers. Well, and I think the augers also know that there's traps in the house. Mm-hmm. So yeah. can the you call house. them traps if literally everyone knows about them? I don't know. Well, mm-hmm. yeah, because they still well, not the, everyone, not the teenagers. The teenagers didn't. Oh, yeah. that's true. Everybody knew where the mirror door was. That's for sure. Yeah, <laughs> like everybody was using that. <laughs> literally, everyone knew where the mirror door was. <laughs> so this well is well just a door. The precursor I, I am to jealous Cabin of, in the Woods. This kind of house with a, with a lot yeah. of trap doors. I've always wanted to have a trap door in a house. Yeah. Well, and it's Put interesting because in your house. beyond yeah. having traps, the house just has like weird doors and passages. Like it has the revolving bookcase. Yeah, mm-hmm. which makes the, it more confusing. The weird door like underneath the staircase that's just like in the wall. Mm-hmm. And then, yeah, the mirror door and stuff. Yeah. But those aren't the traps. Well, like, the we stairs, actually yeah. don't True. see the traps until the very end of the movie as far as i can remember that's what i didn't get in the beginning because it, it it felt like they were telling us we were at an amusement park because they were like oh yeah the the parents in the tyrannosaur paddock, paddock are having trouble or something they talk about it like it's a section of this park and you mm. feel like you're on a studio set or something did you so say tyrannosaurus paddock you know yeah, isn't the that the line from uh yeah jurassic from park jurassic park um yeah the tyrannosaur paddock I didn't say the right accent, um, but yeah, it seems like that. And then it's not. So I don't know. Anyway, I guess we're sort of involved in things. Yeah. As it, as uh, everybody piles in all our characters, the the teenagers go to the place. We find out it's a winery, which it's like teenagers <laughs> at a winery. Oh, yeah, it is very loosely <laughs> classified <laughs> the, as a winery. The, uh, the head of the estate is a couple and a daughter, and a, they have a daughter and they're go- ghostly figures and they're and sipping two on. Huh? Two oh. sons as well. They have three kids. No. Are they ghostly or are they oh, just I, like oh, yeah. weird old swingers? For some reason, I didn't associate those kids as their children because the yeah. one girl is like clearly a vampire because she has the pale skin. Yeah. But they, the other guys do not have the pale skin. So it's like I thought they were just like workers or something. It's no, Anthony like, Michael Hall and Ben Shapiro come out. Yes, Anthony Michael Hall yeah. and Ben Shapiro are the the kids as well. They're yeah. Anthony, oh, yeah, ben, I didn't know that. Ben Shapiro is the son. Anthony Michael Hall is the cousin. 
So I guess they all run this. So I think winery. he's like half vampire or something because he's trying to get them out. Spoiler. Mm. They run, run this winery that is frequented by teenagers looking to have a good time at like yeah. a lake or something. It was legal that, in like, the 80s. <laughs> having a good time at the lake. talking about? At a winery as teenagers. I mean, I guess it's like a cabin with maybe like a winery as like a secondary thing. Yeah, it's a nice place. It's they all get there at night. They never get to the lake. And every, I mean, ultimately, yeah. pretty pretty quickly, <laughs> you figure out the winery is not a winery. It's yeah. just that they have dead bodies in the basement and they're, they're vampires. So, yeah, yeah, maybe they don't advertise the winery thing. It's just like a bed and breakfast. That, uh, <laughs> yeah, just strawberry preserves. That's all. But they say winery, but I don't know if that's yeah. like an edit or. What. I think like there were a lot of places where drinking was still legal at eighteen in the eighties. Well, they definitely don't care about that part of the plot. They're just talking about the wine. Well, I, I don't think that, that that's, that's it. Okay, so, uh, that's, that's just like point. bad writing. That's a good point because they do say, and I don't. This seemed like it was in maybe in the mo- modern edit that it says whatever winery nineteen eighty seven. Mm. So I could oh, be before that's... mad and all that, all that yeah. stuff. I don't know yeah. when that all actually happened. I thought I thought it was early eighties, but maybe not. Because like my parents drank when yeah. they were eighteen, you know. Mm-hmm. You mad, bro? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> no. You mad? I drank bro? when I was eighteen. I mean, so. uh, but yeah, then these things called the Augs kind of come into play, which mm-hmm. are these weird ninja zombies or something. But then they sure. have. Um, they're like putties from yeah they kind yeah. of have a vague putty vibe from power rangers mm-hmm. uh but they're before the teenagers even show up they're wandering around and then uh yeah it's like they prep things for killing it's seemingly i don't know like they hide the weird rectangle anal bead in the closet or something oh yeah <laughs> it's a boomerang yeah. anal bead yeah so like yeah it's not super super clear but it does it feels like they're competing factions of vampires and they're trying to get the the living teens before the family can get them yeah i thought they were just kind of like reapers or something like they worked for the ninja or the rather the vampire family and they like Mm -hmm. got the blood from the teenagers so they didn't have to get their hands dirty kind of thing yeah like they kept saying the family kept saying they're just hungry they missed the delivery you so know, that, yeah, at one point that, they were that like right the, there. I I think at you're right. Like at first, it seemed like they were helping the vampires. They were like catching the kids and harvesting their blood for the vampires. But mm-hmm. later in the movie, the parents return. Right, like they've been mm-hmm. gone for a long time. Yeah. in in the runtime of the movie, it's weird they return, science, basically. Yeah. Right, they return and they're like. Um, and they're surprised that the augers are there and they say, oh, they're hungry, this and that and the other. They miss the delivery. And oh. there's a line in there where it seems like... They lost control or something? Right. Like maybe the, the augers knew that the vamp or that the teenagers were coming to the house and set up a distraction to get the vampire parents out of the house. Mm-hmm. so that the augers oh. could get the teenagers for themselves mm. and then the it, parents wait, come did... back and they're like what the fuck and then because then they try to take out the augers like at did the they end, ever explain why the parents left the house or what an auger it really is because they just like, they did uh, kind of just disappear for like half the movie well yeah, we did we were remember. talking about guns for a while over like plot points <laughs> toward the end there was some thing i was like i think they're talking about the plot and we were talking about something else so i don't know yeah we, there was a lot of chit chat in this uh this quote yeah. unquote movie yeah uh, the tuscan, the yeah, tuscan raiders the, though then there wasn't much plot here kind of lost so the plot. I, I think i think maybe some of the teenagers start getting picked off after there's a after the musical night trap happens <laughs> oh man that was the best <laughs> it would be funny if one of the girls was like, Do you know that girl? And they're like, No. God, classic fucking white <laughs> chicks. Uh. 
Oh my god. I wonder what she's doing now. <laughs> yeah. Night trap. Oh, I think you're saying oh. night trash. <laughs> <laughs> Both are true. <laughs> But I th- actually, I think the first person to get picked off is our Rambo scat guy who uh, yeah. breaks in. Local all Houston like artist. Lone, lone. Yeah, let's shout out to Deke Anderson, everybody. Oh, oh he's listening guy, to the, this podcast. The muscle Rambo, Rambo yeah. guy? Was well, the, it's okay, the first guy who gets killed. This guy. Deke Anderson does the heavy lifting for Houston creatives trying to be actors. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Okay. Well, That's he gets all I have to he, add. he gets <laughs> killed and becomes a blood bag in the basement. Which I will oh, yeah. say that the, the, their contraption for keeping uh, dead bodies in seems like they have like a dry cleaning situation in the basement, and they can just yeah. pull up bodies randomly and like you know get a fresh tap, and and the, then it's like a winery for vampires, which is a great idea. That makes sense. Yeah. That's all. I was like, I hope there's more winery vampires, but then I realized everybody's teenagers. So it's probably not really happening. Mm. Nobody. I would drinking. rather just watch a movie about vampires at a winery. Yeah, like a blood winery mm. is like, and it, that's kind of a funny. There was I, I watching this movie. I, I felt like I had a lot of, bet like, oh, that's a great idea. That's a great idea. But you know, this is not the great Hang idea. On. Copyright 2022 Trash Kings production yeah. <laughs> vampire winery. That's how copyright <laughs> works. <laughs> you say it out loud, it's done. TMT, TMT, it's a TMT, recording. TMT, TMT. Uh, but yeah, he gets dead. Movie. Then, then the you see him earlier when you're at the briefing. But then this uh, this uh, large mustachioed black dude, Scat Patrol guy, goes undercover. <laughs> Scat Patrol. <laughs> He's wearing a Rugrats T-shirt. As like a <laughs> as like a vacationing kind of tourist or lake tourist he looks like a 14 year old skateboarder yes <laughs> right, nowadays yeah, yeah. he would look like a 14 year old skateboarder yeah. but he's like doing i think a jamaican accent maybe yeah. uh, hello 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 so sorry to disturb you like this so sorry to about oh. you but i was wondering if uh, maybe you had seen me before. yeah in a dennis the menace outfit like it he's really got yeah he's weird. got like the flipped up ball, ball uh-huh. like he dressed like i did when i was 10 yeah, he yeah. Looks and he's close. also like seven feet tall and obviously I have like a picture in his late thirties. Yeah, that was <laughs> like, that was great. Um, yeah, then the augers just kind of start. I wrote like blonde gets ninja, but this is before I realized mm-hmm. they were called the not uh, the augers. Uh, and then you get to see their drills, which are pretty cool. They have these yeah. uh, like Ghostbuster esque kind of like backpacks that are attached to these drill things that suck blood directly and put fill the tanks up with blood. Very, uh, uh, that's why I was calling it techno a little bit. Just well, the trap between the traps yeah. and like the technology used to suck the blood, it's sort of like modern. Uh, then yeah, like they start picking off people and a lot more people. And then, uh, this weird Eddie character was the name Weird Eddie or Weird Eddie? That's what they called him. <laughs> weird, Eddie. weird Eddie, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. That's Weird Eddie. He's just one of the neighbors. <laughs> That's weird, Eddie. <laughs> yeah, he, they introduced him earlier when a guy randomly gets thrown off the building inexplicably. Uh, I think that's supposed to be one of the traps early on that's part of the game. It's like, Wait, so would you like to throw, throw a guy off? I thought he dove off. I thought he was like ninja. No, there yeah. was like okay. s- there was like a okay. That's why he gave thing. the thumbs up because he was like, "You got it." Oh, shit. Shockma. Whoa. <laughs> What? They yeah, made some yeah. sort of sound okay. effect though, like a shana na 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 or something. Yeah. Hmm. So anyway, Eddie, uh, there's a little, there's a little boy with the teenagers. Not little. He's like, I don't know, thirteen or fourteen, maybe fifteen at most. Yeah. He's too young for this scenario. Yeah, he too too young yeah. to walk outside. Be given all of the plot of of what's happening from Weird Eddie. Like, <laughs> oh, there's vampires in there. Oh, there are vampires and their skins falling off. There's only one way to kill him, though. And then he pulls yeah. his pants and pulls out this 
like lethal blaster <laughs> beam and it's like he's like chicken oh, oh, <laughs> oh yeah know, he demonstrates explodes, yeah. blows something to bits and it's like here you go child <laughs> he goes here now it's yours bye <laughs> and the kid's like ah oh, sweet what are they well they're called augers or augs and they're like a vampire you mean they oh fly? okay yeah well it's nothing personal it's the only way they can keep alive most of them are so hungry, the skin keeps falling off their bones. That's why they dress so funny. <laughs> we gotta warn the others. Wait, some of them could be vampires, too. What can oh, we God. do? Fight back. How? With the <laughs> what are they? Fight Special back. I made them myself. You just okay. point and mm -hmm. shoot. Holy shit. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna kill Here, people, probably. Yeah. Go in the front, and hey. I'll go around in the back. <laughs> cool. This is better than my talk boy. Oh, also the which is even weirder that weird Eddie guy is like, don't tell it. You can't mention it to everybody because some people could be vampires, so don't bring it up. <laughs> don't it'll tell just, anybody I'm bring. here. Our little secret. And then Eddie goes away forever. <laughs> yeah. and, and this kid who looks vaguely like a young Aaron Judge ish to me at least. Uh yeah, yeah, he's he kills a few of the putties, the augers, mm -hmm. with this like blaster thing. Yeah. <laughs> uh then there's a little bit there's some kind of romantic thing going on with one of the vampire sons that wears the one that wears mm -hmm. glasses because he thinks one of the, the teenagers visiting it looks like an ex girlfriend or something with it. Something From a like long that. time ago. For an ex girlfriend. Yeah, I mean, it vampire. could be it could be you know, centuries ago or yeah. something, but uh uh, he's pretty up to out. date on modern fashion, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's weird that he's the only one that's wearing sunglasses. Mm, like he well, can't control right. his. He can't like, control. Oh, yeah, maybe that's what yeah, it is. Like he's not full that? vampire or something, so he can't control it as well. They don't say it, but they definitely. He seems does to have it. plenty of control because he because then because because then our inside girl starts to figure out what's going on that they're vampires and pulls oh, yeah. like a loaded gun on him <laughs> yeah it's pretty great <laughs> and then he she and then she he, pulls a loaded gun out of her very exposed <clears throat> back that nobody ever noticed yeah, yeah and then and then he like teleports which is like okay they can teleport they did that one time <laughs> one, <laughs> one, one time he yeah. phasered to the other side of the room You have Your beautiful eyes green eyes. Oh shit! Oh my god! <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's how you do that. Stupid little toy could protect you. Um, but yeah, he takes his gun away and it takes the girl's gun away. Our inside girls and the the putties start killing some more security guys. Uh, the kid gets really fascinated with murder, but then he's killed. <laughs> Taste for blood. Yeah. Uh, and then it started getting kind of creepy to me in a weird way. Like I started was I was like mm. the setting and everything with with like the kind of sitcom vibe. And then these kind of random characters just kind of brutally murdering people. It started to get kind of disturbing to me yeah. in, a, in a way that I like kind of enjoyed. It had a too many cooks vibe. I wrote down a la too many cooks. Yeah, it had like exactly. that uncanny valley. Like, yeah, it has that kind of. Um, kind of weird, <laughs> disturbing, oh light. Bad things are vibe, actually yeah. happening. Yeah. Uh, and then we start to get involved uh, by killing yeah. some of the vampires ourselves by throwing them in traps. Thank yep. God for us. Scat Squad. Yeah, the, the Scat Squad comes <laughs> in. They 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 finally decide because like periodically they come in and as individuals and all fail. They come in as a team, but yeah, they they don't they aren't very useful. Then they also either. fail. <laughs> <They're>, <laughs> did they establish if they're with the military? Are they like a private organization? They're, they work for oh. Sega, obviously. Yeah, yeah. this Sega. works when you're when you're playing in between. This works, but like when you put it all together, it's kind of really confusing. Yeah, like, I kind of liked yeah. it. I I kind of liked. I was like, okay, if this was more direct about what it is or like if someone made this now and recreated it mm -hmm. it would be really cool to like be like have the characters begging for their lives for, for from you as the person with the ability to save them 
And if it was more dramatic and felt real, like as far as them dying and everything, I was like, that's mm-hmm. fucking, that's like a great idea for a horror. Like, short, oh, yeah. Maybe. If you could like make people severely uncomfortable with like not saving someone. Right. Yeah. It's like, why are you doing this kind of like thing? But it doesn't quite get there because it's you're game. letting me die. Game, game made for children. But that is the well, yeah. vibe that I'm getting because I feel like at some point you're supposed to save them. But the way that it's edited, it's just like letting everyone letting everyone die <laughs> yeah i think they yeah they chose all the yes. ones where we fail right like yeah, yeah so the game has multiple paths like depending on who you save and when it'll mm-hmm. give you different you know scenarios that pop up in different endings and so clearly the people that edited this took the worst possible ending yeah. uh because that makes it a better horror movie i guess yeah but yeah, yeah. because you become like part of the killers in a, in a weird way it's very uh, anyway, to wrap this plot up, uh, Scat is getting picked <laughs> off. For a Scat's little... here. <laughs> Scat. Uh, they, d- they don't realize that the family is vampires, which right. I thought was uh, okay. Because they're trying to save. They're like, we don't know if you you know what's going on here in your winery. But yeah, there what are did they think weird, was going on? These weird zombies that are trying to suck these teenagers' blood, and the the, the, yeah. the, the vampire family is like, LOL, we are also <laughs> vampires. <laughs> We actually we, worked with these guys, you know, it's like we totes knew that we had a He's falling so out. We had a falling out recently when they decided to eat our food, which I think is maybe the idea. Uh, yeah, but then uh, yeah, then there's a lot more traps. Suddenly we're we are sort of doing some stuff, but then we we let everyone die or everyone, you know, quote unquote, good die. Mm-hmm. And then it ends. Yeah. The inside girl who with the two pulls a pistol and uh, Tr- Trey or Troy, what was his name? Right, uh, Tony. She pulls a pistol once, Tony. and then her Tony. pistol doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, yeah. That, well, he takes it away. Well, he took her. it away. He's yeah. Oh, he put, her, he put he it did. in the other his trend or uh, he beamed he himself up to yeah, the other his... side of the room. Is there anything else that like y'all want to talk about before we move on to favorite parts regarding the plot? Um, I think that's about it. Just don't look in the fridge, guys. Like, welcome, welcome <laughs> yeah. to my home, but don't open that door or that. Door. Don't open that or fridge that or that fridge. No, yeah. they, no, they have locks on them for a reason. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's always really funny. I lock the fridge. I, lo- I, I love a lot of this thing. Um, yeah. yeah, we didn't talk about, and maybe it's somebody's favorite part. I don't know, but we didn't talk about how they kept blood popsicles in their freezer. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> it was a part. sheet. Yeah, it was just like <laughs> it a, was, yeah, it was like a Ziploc sandwich baggie full of blood. It Did looks like someone do? melted twenty fruit roll ups together at yeah. a sheet and just yeah, and like, it was like one mm, of the teenagers grabs it and it's like, what is this? And the daughter mm. goes, oh, they're just cherry popsicles, <laughs> and throws yeah. it back in there. Well, she takes a bite and like I've expected yeah. her to say this tastes weird, but she goes, tastes like blood. Yeah, <laughs> just like that. Like, <laughs> I think you should be hanging around that weird Eddie. Is she oh eating God. like 10 roll ups right now? Yeah, that's oh no, what that looks like it's blood. Oh, it's blood. You're making a mess. That tastes like blood. Right. I like that she knew what blood Solved tastes it. like. Yeah, I mean, we all know what blood tastes like. Yeah, yeah you ever get like you bite your lip or something? Yeah. You don't ever, you don't ever suck, right? your, suck your wounds. I mean, I have, I just don't know if it really tastes. It's very metallic. Yeah, yeah I guess it's kind of, yeah, it's irony. like sucking a penny. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't know what it tastes like if I bit into a frozen yeah, was, version I was of it. Say, like, like <laughs> I wouldn't, I wouldn't pick it out of a thing necessarily. Immediately. I mean, if it tastes exactly the same, you probably would. Uh, maybe let's I do guess. an experiment. Yeah, let's, I will. Let's I will bl- bl- bleed open. myself and Very freeze good. it. Okay, mm. you're gonna volunteer. We're gonna do some bloodletting. Yeah, we'll do some blood because you don't you don't know what bloodborne diseases I have, but we're then all we'll gonna be, have it. We'll be blood brothers then. Uh, they're yeah. all gonna go to my tum tum. <laughs> Yeah. I don't have any esophagus wounds. Mm. Did you make it into a snow cone? <laughs> yeah, totally. I'll get some shaved ice. It would be like tiger blood, but my blood. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, are you Charlie blood. Sheen? No, don't you don't fucking. Oh, I thought that's what you were talking about. <laughs> no, the I really snow did cone too. flavor. I you were tiger's Charlie blood. Sheen joke. <laughs> no. The I'm famous tiger's snow. blood. <laughs> All right. Well, favorite parts. <laughs> uh, JD, you said you had a couple. Oh, yeah. Um, I mean, there's a couple of really great stuff. Uh, really great things. Excuse me. 
Um, I there's a couple of lines that I really love uh, at the end, like after we've seen everything play out. The the woman on the inside, she says, "I think they're vampires." <laughs> and <then it> cuts <laughs> the you have to listen to me. Do what I say, and when Dora the Explorer was born, I think these might be vampires <laughs> we're up against here. <laughs> This is pretty Welcome great. Welcome to the party, <laughs> pal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and um and then there's God, this might be someone else's favorite part. I just loved okay, so every time that they came out with that hook gun or whatever, like the putties came at him with this like eh, 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 and they came up with this hook. The actors, it's amazing. They do it like four or five times, but they're like screaming for their life. Like, no, stop. And then there's a moment of them like, you got it. You got it on my neck. Okay, good. You got it on my neck. Okay, stop. Like there's, a, you just see the whole process. They hold it to make sure yeah. it's on. It must have been a really difficult thing for them to secure that. So I didn't notice time. that because the action was so enthralling. Uh, Justin, did you have any favorite parts? Yeah, I... I liked when Weird Eddie came back into the house dressed as one of the putties. Yeah. He did. (laughs) So nobody noticed it. And I called it out very briefly, but like we had already kind of passed it. But he he like pulls his mask up. He's like, hey, it's me. (laughs) Wait, don't shoot. It's me. This I don't fool him. (laughs) Oh. (laughs) He's like, hey. I don't know if he said I'm, it's weird, Eddie. I can't remember what he said, but he, he like pulls his mask up. He's like, "Hey, it's me." And his pants were like, they were like uh, parachute pants that were way too short for him. So his like his ankles were exposed, and it was very clearly not one of the the putties. And so like as soon as he reveals himself, five seconds later, he walks forward and gets like shoved into the wall with a trap. And mm-hmm. disappears. Uh, okay. <laughs> Just Guns, so yeah. stupid. Well, because the kid's about to shoot him. Dies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, hey, it's me. I'm in. We're both in. And then he <laughs> dies. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty great. Pretty great. Uh, Joey. Uh, God. Aside from how it gets pretty creepy at the end, and the cool gun drill guns things that suck blood. And the fact that this is a vampire winery, <laughs> I'll just say better title. Uh, by the, way. <laughs> the 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 undercover guy coming in, yes, uh, with his oh like God. yellow boat shoes and mm-hmm. uh, vacation shirt and pretending to be Jamaican. What? beauty. Uh, look at three three different disguises at once they'll be too confused (laughs) to question any of it (laughs) this this whole movie old jamaican 10 year old (laughs) this whole movie is like the actors going let me try something on this one (laughs) i love that guy a very very talented security guy uh that works for this like I don't know, Marine uh, Marines esque kind of secret service thing. Also, talented actor. Love yeah. that. Three different voices in this movie. Yeah. He he shows range, you know. <laughs> yeah. He shows range. Yeah, that was definitely one of my favorite parts, but um my What's favorite, your favorite part. Probably no surprise to at least to Joey, is uh there's a scene when a bunch of the putties are going up and down in a hallway. And the door is just getting all sorts of fucked up. And it's just, it's Door City over there. And that just like, <laughs> <laughs> that was a pretty good line. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with these guys? Are they zombies? Whoa, Door City over here. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of doors. Anyway, yeah, we got to oh, talk God. about Nathan Fielder. With every, every, uh, yeah. let's. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I, what is Nathan Fielder? Uh, every white guy's <laughs> dream. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I guess so. Every he's woman. an entertainment contrarian. Women want him, and men want to be him. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe every every person who didn't play sports in high school's dream guy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, every white guy that didn't play sports in high school's dream man right now yeah. at this moment. 
<laughs> Spoiler, guys, check out next week where we interview Nathan Fielder. Oh my god, can't <laughs> live got on him. the podcast. I can't believe we're and getting him. Don't it don't forget so to guest. You can't Anderson believe you spoiled also. it. We're gonna have to cut that. You're gonna want to watch the stream live right at one o'clock. Join Follow us Patreon. on Twitch and on Tuesday. Tuesday. <laughs> Twitch Tuesdays for Nathan Fielder. <laughs> yeah. The Justin Petty show. Definitely a different show. Most we already taped it. Ass. We already taped it. It's fine. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, any other favorite parts? Oh, I have mentions? one. Go <laughs> I ahead. thought this would definitely be someone's favorite part. But when the guy's hanging upside down in the meat locker or whatever, or the <laughs> winery <laughs> fridge, uh, she goes. With a dumb waiter ass. I, kind of, I forgot. Uh, I mentioned this earlier. Cool. She bites into the frozen popsicle, right? And she goes, this tastes like blood. And then the neighbor, the girl neighbor from, uh, sorry, married with children says, yeah, right. And then she opens the fridge and they all just scream <laughs> and scatter Scooby Doo yeah. style. Like, yeah, that was like, I was like, I guess it's like the juxtaposition of the sitcom kind of vibe with suddenly a dead body in like a freezer and someone eating yeah. blood and all these people were reacting with like some kind of like decency. It's not, it's over the top, but it, like, if it had a laugh track, it'd be real. Yeah, that's what creeps me out a little bit. Yeah, we, we uh, can get a laugh track in there. I, we have if, the technology. I swear to God, <laughs> I've seen if, it done. If, if I can, if uh, too many cooks didn't exist, I would I would be like, we should definitely remake something like this where it's like you're in control and just letting people die. Yeah, but I feel like too many cooks kind of. All right. Well, if nobody has any other favorite parts, we can go ahead and move on to. The bees. The bees. The bees. The bees. Hey, you got it dialed in now, man. I got it dialed in. Killing That's it. the one. Fucking Cooking with grease. Cooking <laughs> with grease. <laughs> Cooking with bees. Uh, I did not have a ton for this one. No, there's not. <clears throat> uh, but what I do have, I have beads, comma, anal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Big ones, too. Oh, big, huge, huge, big ones. booty, big, like, what? big, it big, might, <laughs> big beats. It might work for Justin. I don't know. <laughs> a lot of things been up that ass, according to uh, yeah. Himself. I mean, it, it's... okay. So I have beads, comma <laughs> anal. <laughs> I have blood. I have blood punch. He had it in his little cup. Mm. I have a blood bag. I have blood mm. popsicles. There was a blast. There were Joey. I think you got up for this line, but there were boys, comma fast, and boats, comma fast. Mm-hmm. Uh, there were there boats? was a what boats? No, no, no. There was a line where the 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 woman that oh, was yeah. in the like yoga pants and had the Walkman on her hip the whole time, mm-hmm. and she was like, "Come on, I came down here for fast boys and fast boats." <laughs> Right. I yeah. did write down off screen boat because also uh, <laughs> the uh, undercover scat guy says something about his boat. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He showed a picture of his boat. Off screen boats. Yeah. If, but we don't uh, if, see if the picture. Adam. <laughs> well, we, we kind of do. Adam, if you can freeze frame that in the edit, we, I will. There's like, there like one frame <laughs> where you see kind of a uh, polar picture of his boat. I will not do that. <laughs> Uh, so we have <laughs> boys comma fast boats comma fast we have a Ben Shapiro and we have a Butterfugo. <laughs> hell yeah uh, I don't know if you said blondes there's a lot I of did blondes, not. blondes. Mm-hmm. a lot of blondes uh, I wrote down brushing because there was only a character just brushing his <laughs> yeah. teeth oh, brushing yeah. comma dry never really explained from what I remember never okay, explained I'll, I yeah. want to believe that there is an explanation to it if you pick the right choices in the game yeah, yeah. we'll have to find it's the out. brush ending we'll, have we'll to find out game. on the premium <laughs> tier he probably shoves Patreon. it up his butt <laughs> yeah. uh, honorary guy through windows oh yes of course oh yeah that weird like he tosses the him. window thing Dude. And then I was gonna it's like Jedi powers. A new mm-hmm. one uh, on screen stage hands. <laughs> Let's go through a trap door. Night trap. I feel like Dick Beeman could play that role pretty well. Did you see the stage hands back there? <laughs> were they swinging really? the door? Were they back there? Yeah, they were like them. leotards too. <laughs> they, were like, just, they were like, oh shit. <laughs> that was great. In unitards. Yeah, that was good. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of fun. It's uh, you know, boom mic adjacent. 
let's go ahead and rate the film. Hang on, Adam, did you do your favorite part? Yeah, Store City over here, man. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. And we did the bees. Are you kidding me? I've been Are drinking. You kidding me? I've been drinking. What are you talking drinking. about? What are you okay. talking about? Let's go ahead and rate this fucking thing. Let's yeah. start with Justin so that he can get it out of his system, and then Ooh. we don't have to hear from him again. <laughs> you know that's not gonna happen. I'm gonna talk to you. <laughs> 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 I'm editing this one, so I'm just going to only have my audio rolling the whole time. Are you really editing this one? Because I'll give you the footage. No, I'm fucking not. Okay, well, then don't fucking pose. I No, I actually was going to suggest it, and then I found out I had to go to fucking Canada. Don't so. fucking mm. pose, okay? No, no, Rate seriously. I said earlier not today, to. <laughs> I, I was like, hey, I, I might edit it. Maybe I'll edit this one. Where are you one. going in be Canada? A fun one. Where? Calgary. Oh, that's a yeah. good part of Canada. Hmm. Yeah, my dad yeah, lived there for two years. We can, we convinced uh, Nathan, my boss, to let us stay an <laughs> extra day so we could go to Banff. I'm pretty. Banff pumped. is beautiful. Yeah, it's I've been gonna there. be. You've been there too. It's yeah, fucking rich. Yeah, Banff is. <laughs> yeah, I'm <laughs> very excited about it. It it yeah. it looks like a place that is not real. It, yeah, it, it looks completely yeah. amazing. Yeah, it stands beautiful. for badass motherfucker. <laughs> uh, uh, there's a there's a beautiful okay. ass. Now I want to go. It's, it's an N, not an it's M. A, yeah, it's an N and two Fs. You should try uh, to fuck someone yeah. other there. Why don't you yeah. try to figure that one out? G- sure. Give it to us, JD. You should try to shove the whole place in your ass. Yeah, badass necromancy fucker. There you go. No, I don't but know it's if cool. I can That's fit cool. that whole lake in my ass. It's it's uh, a lot. If you get to that, see Lake Louise in the that, summer, it's it's that, beautiful. Cut yeah, that. I'm super excited. It, it looks like a melted glacier. It's beautiful. <laughs> Cut, yeah. that. Cut that. All the, all the pictures are wonderful. I can't wait to see them in person. Cut yeah. that. Happy jo- Joey doesn't man. like nature. I don't understand why he hates nature. He I doesn't like it. nature. It's a shame he you won't in, be there. He sits like... in his backyard and talks to cats. And possums. Yeah. <clears throat> true, true. Justin, true, true, true. what do you rate yeah. this movie? Sup, I give it a five. <laughs> wow. <laughs> What? Really? <laughs> <laughs> wow, moving on. No, no. All right, no, no. JD, I, what do you rate I, this movie? Though, I'm, you know, give it a five. I'm actually going to give it a four. No, I think it's a five for you. Yeah, don't change. It's, you don't get to wait it, till the, the end. Okay, <laughs> I, I, not, I don't mean to the, make you feel I'm bad. Give, I was just surprised. No, no, no. The, the movie I am giving a four. Mm. I am very excited to hopefully give the game a five i'm oh, I've already I'm bought tempt- it <laughs> i'm tempted to give the game like a breen scale rating like it looks it's Ooh. that fun okay depending well, I, I on the choices it, i choose so I, I hope that i choose the right choices god forbid i choose the wrong choices oh. and i have that experience i would never let myself live this down obviously because i can't play it again no never but uh no uh movie wise <laughs> Choosing all of the failure options of this game, I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it a four. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was really good, uh, only because there there were a couple of things that like I was really excited about that did maybe didn't play out because of the choices that were chosen that we missed out on. That maybe playing the game is gonna give us, but that that is what's gonna hopefully give it the five. Okay, cool. Uh, Joey. Uh, I really don't know. <laughs> it's a tough one, huh? I mean, uh, we had a lot of fun with it. Yeah. And it does have some cool stuff. Definitely had a really good pace to it. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll give it three and a half. We had a lot of fun with it. I liked it. It's weird, which makes me, I don't know how to arrange it exactly. Because it's not really a movie. It's like an experience. But it's a good one. Remember when you gave me and Adam a week's worth of shit for not giving last week's movie a four? And Mm -hmm. you took our three-ish ratings as us hating the movie. 
That was that that that's really sad with me. I don't remember doing that. I do. I do. Oh, it hasn't been. Yeah, tra- trauma doesn't <laughs> go away. Yeah, I mean you're right. It's only been 48 hours, but <laughs> it's been a week since we watched it. Maybe so. I was just yeah. editing it and getting irritated because you guys are giving it shit after giving it a high rating for some reason. It was bothering me. I saw it in the chat, but different... I wasn't here, so I didn't understand. But uh, <laughs> I do remember it happening. It's quite a lot. It's actually weighed on me. What were you doing, playing your violin? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I was doing. For a tiny one. violin. <laughs> just, do you ever feel like an old violin, JD? I feel like Soon an old to be violin put away guy on and never Titanic's. played again. <laughs> an old, loosely stringed violin. Yeah. Just hanging. not a feel. <laughs> Yet so loosely structured. I feel like, like the, the I, I feel like the violinist on the Titanic six six six, the old guy. Playing one last time. Yeah, that was you, right? That was me. Well, yeah, I was in that movie. Yeah, yeah. Just like Deke is in this one, I'm in that one. Yeah. yeah. Um, check it out. And you're in Geostorm. I'm in Geostorm. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think Invisible. I'm in Alita Battle Angel. Also. You're an invisible person. Invisible. Yeah. Wait, That's is cool. your is is music that you played actually in Alita Battle Angel? No, I'm an extra. No, his body. But, yeah. His, his corporeal body. being is in. I'm, I'm yeah. so hot for that. My blurry figure. His, his cuerpo. Yeah. His cuerpo. <laughs> so, JD, what are you rating this thing? I'm also giving it a 3.5 because I feel like it was really fun, but it was also like 3.5. It was like, you know, 70% of a movie anyway. So I think the game really helped. So that's kind of how I best based it mathematically. But um, yeah, I it's think like... Yeah. I don't know. It's it's three bags of trash. Yeah, and then like I'm just very excited. For like the maybe text like that Joey's gonna give us after this about six, like six broken Sega CDs in a bag. Yeah, like one of those tiny bag bags with, with that at least someone filled with trash. Yeah. yeah, Joey, you should try huffing those CDs and seeing if you give it a five. <laughs> We're gonna cut that, cut that, cut that, cut that. <laughs> Guys, don't huff CDs. Maybe huff CDs. CDs nuts. <laughs> <laughs> that's the episode everybody thanks for listening follow us on trash movie kings uh Bada boom you gotta and end on high note <laughs> fuck adam's rating goodbye that was it dude. <laughs> oh shit uh so this one i i'm on the same page as jp like i loved this movie um and to me it felt like the like the weird kind of like hype hype speech that you get before you go into a laser tag arena and they're telling you like (laughs) yeah 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 it fucking does oh my god yeah listen corporal that's very accurate Uh, the high school dude who is like in character who doesn't want to be in character 100 percent. yeah it's a training troops ready (laughs) yes that's exactly yes exactly like Yeah. yeah it felt like a fucking laser tag arena intro thing and i was about it and i mean y'all know that i love video games and stuff and it was just really cool to see this come together i'm very excited to be able to play this thing uh you know if we figure out how to make that into an episode or something like that that would be great but uh yeah i'm gonna give it a four so i'm right there with with Justin. nice hell yeah i just bought it because of your four yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I bought it. I bought it too, so we can uh, we can all play. You know, but JD, you do you play? It, do you I play? Do you play a lot of video games, JD? Um, I dip into like Fallout Four every couple of years for way yeah, too so much time. You have time. like a couple or that's three, it. couple three games that you like to play, and that's yeah, like it. GTA is great. Um, yeah. yeah, yeah, I played the Guardians of the Galaxy game was pretty good. So not like not in like a game a week or anything. No, I don't. I can't keep up with all that shit. So you haven't played Stray yet. I think that's the half difference between between us and them is like we like video games, but they love video games. Yeah, I mean, like like, this is my list just for this year. You like the idea? Oh, Oh, you have a list. See, that's a whole like thing that I. Oh, I have a fucking list too. (laughs) Yeah, not as long as Adams. I would like. I would like a copy of Adams' list. I'm. I'm also pretty (laughs) monogamous games when it comes to games. Like I'll play one for a really long time, and then I won't play for a while. 
I've so played, Fallout Four is something I've diff, like dove into many times. I played, played uh, seventy six yet? Three, maybe no. three hours of Stray this year. How's that? Uh, I mean, it's fine. Don't listen to him. Not it a is very relaxing. Yeah, it's until true. it's not. It's a really chill game, which is what I thought it would be. I liked it. On my list, I, let me see. What did I give Stray? <clears throat> Oh, you ranked them too. Oh, you got ratings yeah. for games? I gave is that a, a three out of five. Is that on a litter box? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God damn it, JD. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I, I fucking hate that joke because I'm mad I didn't think of it. Thank you. Thank you. That, that was perfect. <laughs> you miss me? It was like it was the perfect amount of irritation <sighs> that makes Joey and Adam mad. And that's what bugs me is that I didn't do it. <laughs> of course. Uh, all right. Uh, <clears throat> so that, that is that is my goal for punning is <laughs> is irritating Joey and Adam to no no end. Uh, if I, if I get a frustrated <laughs> sigh from Adam, then I know I did a good job. You just stepped gonna, on his I'm ending, gonna, which is pretty. I know. Good. I know. I'm gonna keep talking because it's 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 upsetting him more. <laughs> <clears throat> hey man, God. I'm not the one that has to go to work in the morning. Hey, mm. kinda. <laughs> He's like, oh shit. <laughs> what day is uh, it? Damn. It's fucking two a.m. and I get it. I'm already drunk. It doesn't matter at this point. Well, <laughs> thanks, Justin. It was a short movie, so you really filled up the rest of that time. <laughs> um, thanks for being worried. thirty minutes late and talking about <laughs> fucking Jerry or Harry Styles for uh, three fourths of the episode. Don't act like you're not impressed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I am a great actor, so uh, you never know. He is a great actor. Have you guys seen Nothing Really Happens? It's on Whoa. TV right now. Yeah, you big bitch. Oh yeah, you can watch Nothing Really Happens on TV and Falls and Monster Calls. Spoiler: Nothing really happens. Um, shout out to Except. geriatric zombies. Oh Most yeah! Terrible. Yes, Dying. yes. Oh, that's a with good, the that, pursuit of us. Uh, we thought God, they were there, sneaking, but is they there weren't. a zombie movie at a geriatric home? Ooh, oh, dang it! There has to be. There's geriatric be, park right? is a Naked Gun thirty three oh. and a third. <laughs> right? That's, yeah, that's yeah. like a joke in that. I remember that. Joke. It's great. I, that was my favorite joke of the whole movie. I was, I mean, from when I was a kid and I saw it, right when I was watching UHF. Old people, <laughs> lol. Yeah. Uh, it's no, the sound he makes. Really he goes like, stretching. and then crushes there's, the guy there, with his walker. I know there's a, a an old folks yeah. home superhero movie, but I don't know about a zombie movie. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, Later, nerds. All right. Uh, your That's camera's stuck. drunk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Bombshell Blondes. Thank you for keeping us. <sighs> this is going to be a fun neighbor. one to edit. You know, I was going into this one and I was like, Joey says it's going to be a short movie. It's going to be an easy edit. It's going <laughs> to be fine. I didn't derail this most of the time, I feel like. so. No, I'm not blaming you. <laughs> I'm not blaming Wild you at all. Card, bitches. Do you need to derail your troubles? Get some Southern Star. It works every time. <laughs> It's the need, Southern honestly. Star because you keep it stored in your ass. I was See, fine. I was fine until I cracked the mead. Mead has six of them in there. <laughs> Wait, Southern Star because because <laughs> you keep it in your Southern Starfish. God <laughs> damn it! God, I would I would say that puts me at a twenty on the Fred Durst scale. Fuck, <laughs> that's as high as you can go. So, I'll cheers you for that one. Okay. Thanks. And it is to a chocolate starfish. It's the Fred Durst, it's the Fred will, Durst honey apricot pot. You will uh, toast us for that one. I just drank it backwards. So weird yeah, the, the mead is what really fucked me. I was like oh, feeling yeah. fine. You know, I'm like, hey, I got a decent buzz going. And then the mead, I'm like, um, <laughs> yeah, this is great. Yeah, this is great it. ad read for Southern Star. <laughs> I'm so fucked up. Fucked up. <laughs> fucked up and you know what? Southern poop. The star. <laughs> yeah. you know what I'm talking so about? How embarrassing do you want to be with your friends in public? Get yeah. you a southern star and shove it up your ass. <laughs> We're recording this on purpose. <laughs> I'm putting this recording. out publicly. Can we end the show? <laughs> Can we please end the yes, show? Yes, let's end the yes. show real quick. Shout okay, out. So, <laughs> oh my that God, is, that is so. four. Or, <clears throat> Excuse me. That is 3.75 bags of trash from the Trash Movie Kings for Night Trap 
1992, 2017. <clears throat> uh, yeah, if you haven't already, follow us on social media, Trash Movie Kings. Give us a follow. Uh, you know, watch us on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, wherever you get your stuff. Rate us five stars, all that good shit. Shoot us an email, trashmoviekings at gmail.com. Uh, I have been Adam Edwards joining me this week Joseph Graham, Justin Petty, and J.D. Karpicki thank you all for giving up your Thursday nights Friday mornings thank you to Southern Star Brewing Company for giving us the uh, fuel for this episode and uh, thank you everybody for listening and watching and we will see you next time I'm sorry everybody for what I've done (laughs) 